I think the jeans are on sale today. Fresh made cheese. All right, enough Pusada. It's time to move on. Look at all the cattle here, you guys. The villagers in a nearby town are famous for their pottery. Let's go check it out. Now that was great. Let's go find some place to eat. Oh, look at this. Fried cheese balls, kind of like croquettes. Also fried fish, freshly caught. Wait, let's head back to Laura de Freitas. It took a while to get back, but just in time for dinner. How about some fried cheese? Or perhaps a hearts of palm salad? The specialty of the house, pastilles. You can get them with all sorts of fillings. This one's carne. The gelato is as good as you'd find in Italy. Hey, that was a great day. Have a good night. Good morning. We start off at the beach. We then went and visited the home of the very first governor of Salvador. Then we went to an area known for its turtle sanctuary. Turned out it had a great view of the beach too. Afterwards we went to a famous hippie village where Janis Joplin and Mick Jagger visited at one time. Our final destination, Arambepe. And with our last night here, we ate at Mar Alberto. The food was exquisite. I highly recommend you order the lobster. It was excellent. And for dessert, light and dark coconut. Mmm. We'd like to thank our host for showing us a wonderful time in Salvador, tomorrow, Rio. While in Rio, we stayed at the Arena Copacabana. We had fantastic views from our window. Come on, let's go check out the beach. a snack, some fried shrimp, a beef skewer. All right, I'm tired. That was a good first day here in Rio. Hola, let's go explore. But first, meet Rodrigo. He'll be our private guide today. First stop, Christ the Redeemer. The monument was opened in 1931 and is now one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. On 
On a clear day, the views are spectacular. We're having a blast. We hope you are too. Our next stop is over in the Santa Teresa area. You can find some great souvenirs right here. This cultural center is another great place to check out. find some of the best views right here. Ah, the cathedral downtown. Let's go take a look. see a trolley crossing this aqueduct-like bridge, but due to maintenance problems, it's out of commission for now. You have to come and check out this alleyway. It's really cool. While we were there, we met the man who started it all. Take a look inside the Portuguese library. This is some of the finest architecture I have ever seen. Next stop, Sugarloaf Mountain. So, what's there to do when you get to the top? Ah, the view. Hey, that was a lot of fun. Let's go get something to eat. Colombo. Probably the oldest restaurant in Rio. Care for some Spanish olives? Perhaps a white asparagus salad? Or a salmon salad? I went for the steak sandwich myself. Afterwards, we went to the Botanical Gardens. I've heard about these giant lily pads. I didn't know I'd see this incredible flower from the cannonball tree. Okay, we're now off to someplace completely different. It's a favela. In 2000, this favela was pacified and it's perfectly safe to walk through. With a little help from Sharona, we found our way to a famous jazz club, The Maze. On the first Friday of every month, they have great jazz. Make sure you go and talk to Bob while you're there. That was adventurous. Now let's go take the subway to the beach.
the famous Ipanema Beach. Lifeguard Tower number 9, that's the cool place to hang out. Two chairs and an umbrella, please. Okay, Sharona, pick out a good spot. Some iced tea and lemonade mixed right in front of you. And perhaps you'd like to have some fried cheese. Hey, that was a great day at the beach. Now let's do dinner. This is one of the finest restaurants in all of Rio. Sharona started with bruschetta. I had the fried polenta with a meat filling. It was excellent. After dinner, we went out for some Brazilian nightlife and sambaed until morning. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you on the next trip.